All right, uh, going to do the walkthrough on your camper. You're going to need a 2 and 5 16 ball for your hitching. Also going to need a lock for your coupler to keep it, uh, make sure that it stays locked. You've got your seven way power cord, does your running lights, turn signals, stop lights, uh, provides 12 volt power for the camper. Uh, also electric brakes on the camper, provide that your vehicle has a brake controller. Have the electric tongue jack. You do have a LED docking light that comes on a lot brighter during the at nighttime, up and down for your stabilizing jack to run your camper up or down. Uh, when your stabilizers are down, please do not try to lift or lower the front of the camper. All right, L, L, uh, LP tanks. The cover does open up from this end. These are refillable tanks, so you can't take them to any Ace Hardware or uh, anybody that refills LP. This here is your selector switch. Right now, the selector switch is pointing at this tank. When this tank turns red, we're gonna swap this one over to this one and open this valve up. Uh, try not to do the middle. That way you don't play a guessing game on how much LP you actually have. All right, safety chains and breakaway cable. As you can see, breakaway cables not snake through the chains. It needs to be free just in case something happens. The camper comes disconnected from the vehicle. It will pull a safety pin out that will lock the brakes up on the camper. Uh, also, if you're noticing that your brakes are locked up on the camper, come make sure that the other end, that that pin is plugged into the box. All right, from back here, we have a Group 24 Deep Cycle Marine, bat Marine Green battery. Uh, this is a not a maintenance free battery, so you will have to check the water in it periodically uh, Also depends on how much you charge or leave it out in direct sunlight You do have a battery disconnect switch located on the driver's side of the a-frame Whenever you are using the camper, please make sure that it is in the on position that way you can charge your battery When we're done with the camper, we want to shut it off that way. We don't drain the battery Other than that keep it on you do have a spot for solar charge you have to uh, match your plug up with the plug on the camper. Um, that way you can have your solar panel set out in the sun and keep your battery trickle charged. All right, off to the side. You got your stabilizing jacks. Uh, put you a nice 2x10, 2x12 up underneath there to keep that pad from uh, sinking down into the pavement or down into the ground. Uh, also, a 3 quarter inch um, socket with an impact drill that way you can zoom them up and down there's also a manual crank handle located in the front compartment on the passenger side all right driver side access to the compartment with this hose here please be careful this is your fresh water tank fill hose so please do not damage it or whenever you go to put water in it you will damage have water coming out into the uh, compartment and creating water damage all right, uh, fresh water fill, basically just set the water hose in, turn it on about halfway, let the fresh tank fill naturally. Uh, you don't want to force a whole bunch of water into it because you will pop the, uh, the anchors that are holding the tank down. It will swell up and you can crack it. All right, uh, nothing on down this way except for our sewage connection. Our black valve is for our poop tank and our gray is for our uh like your bathtub your bathroom sink your kitchen sink all of that's going to uh, be drained into here so we'll make our connection on our sewer hose point a to point b if you're at a campsite that has a sewer site on site you can pull both your gate valves open that way you don't have to fill your tanks up it'll be just like plumbing at home if you're boondocking or dry camping we want to make sure these guys are pushed in and the lid is on tight all right At the back back here, we have a spot for your pa your power cord. This is a connected power cord, so there's no plugging it into the unit. Once the cord stops, there is no more to pull out. You will yank it out of the junction box. And of course, whenever you're done, you're just gonna simply push the cord in until the cord plug head is sitting inside and we can shut it and lock it down. All right, city water connection. Most important thing on this is the black screen gasket. If you don't have the black screen gasket in that, you're going to create water damage. I don't care how tight you tighten the water hose out here. Uh, but this is for city water connection. Hook uh, one end up to here, one end up to a spigot, turn the water on, and you'll be basically uh, using the water pressure that comes from the utility side. All right, uh, water heater. This is an electric and also an LP fired uh, water heater. And my... Uh, All right, electric.